It might be small, but doctors say it has a big impact. An antibody that UPMC doctors believe can treat and prevent the virus that causes COVID-19. It is another promising step forward in this war against the coronavirus. Hello, and thanks for joining us tonight at 730. I'm Megan Schiller. We start tonight with a big breakthrough in medicine, and researchers discovered it right here in a Pittsburgh lab. The antibody called AB8 will do two things. It will help treat people who already have COVID-19 by blocking the spread of the virus in the body. It will also prevent the infection in the elderly, our healthcare workers, and people with weaker immune systems. Joining me live tonight over Zoom is Dr. John Meller, who is UPMC's Chief of the Division of Infectious Diseases. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us tonight. My pleasure, Megan. How Doc are you? I'm doing well, thank you. What is the main difference between a vaccine and this antibody? So we need both, first off, Megan, but the main difference is a vaccine is trying to trigger our own immune system to make antibodies and other immune factors that prevent infection. An antibody that's given does not require our immune system to do anything or the host to do anything other than receive the antibody through an injection. And that antibody by blocking the virus can prevent infection or if the infection is already present, improve the outcome, hasten recovery from the infection. What makes your antibody unique in comparison to the other ones? Well, several things, Megan, thanks for asking that. First, it's small. It's smaller than the other antibodies that are available. Mm -hmm. And small is good in that it can penetrate into tissues, including the lung, uh, where the infection is often raging. It can spread throughout the rest of the body where infection may have gone uh, in addition to the lung. It's also very potent. That means on a per weight basis, it punches hard. Okay, and it, and it prevents uh, the virus from infecting cells. Third, it's extremely stable. Mm -hmm. And fourth, uh, it covers the mutants that we know about that might be able to escape from virus, uh, from antibody, excuse me, that might be able to be resistant to the antibody. And if we have a very potent small antibody, we might be able to treat more people with the same amount of antibody. And we could also consider alternative routes of delivery like injection or even possibly inhalation directly into the lung. The main question everyone wants to know is how long until this could be given to humans? Well, we have a couple of antibodies in development. We have AB1 that's already in production and that will be ready for clinical trials by the end of the year. And AB8, we're uh, looking for the first part of 2021 uh, for it to go into clinical trials. Clinical trials take uh, months to complete, but we'll get a good idea whether it's safe and effective uh, within six months. It's not a, a quick fix, yeah. just like the vaccines. It takes time, uh, but we're hopeful that this will not only treat the infection, but help prevent it. Definitely, hopefully all your hard work, you and the other doctors will pay off. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us tonight. My pleasure.